Hi everybody, Steve here. <clears throat> I'm wearing my scarf and I've just got in. I thought I'd do a quick vlog because of something that has just happened. I promise I will do um, I will do vlogs about stuff that you asked me to do it about soon, but um, for now I just need to tell you this. Um, I was just walking home from work, my normal route home from work. I've just gone back in after feeling ill for the last couple of days. I'm getting better, but it's fine. Um, I was walking home, it's dark outside, and um, I was walking through the through the snow and the slush, um, just minding my own business, you know. I was on my phone, in fact, I was texting. And um, just as I, I, just as I was walking along, I saw there was a, an old woman or man, I guess it was a man, actually, in the end, um, sort of walking slowly along, um, you know, minding the snow and all that kind of thing. So I made sure I gave them a wide berth and I went round the side by quite a long way and walked quite quickly past them. Um, as I walked past, I'm going to say him, um, as I walked past him, um, it made, he, see I want to say it, he made this kind of growling noise, it was kind of a cross, I'm not going to do an impression of it because um, it'll just sound stupid, um, but it sounded like a cross between like, you know what a cat sounds like when it's either angry or scared or pissed off or in pain, you know, like a kind of thing. I won't do the noise, but it was kind of like that crossed with more of a kind of guttural, like growl, like a human would make, like interspersed. And I sort of did that, getting higher and higher, and sort of went Rawr! by the end, by the time I'd got past, as soon as that happened, I didn't even look, I just fucking ran, or well, walked very, very quickly. And, um, and then, so that noise basically died down, and then a couple of seconds later, it shouted something weird, like, not in a language I've ever heard, um, and it was in the same kind of growly, kind of snarly, shrieked, yelled voice. And, like, honestly, it, it shouted like three or four times, and I was just gone. I fucking, seriously, I'm not turning around to get back that. It creeped the hell out of me. Now, I don't believe in um, religious things like demons, in um, the devil, that kind of thing. Like I've said before in these Q&As, you know, I don't believe in ghosts or possession or anything like that either. But like I've said in these Q&As that I've done, I do believe that if something like that happens and I see it, um, and I'm told that's pr That's my phone. Um, it's a turkey going... Um, yeah, if I... That's cheered me up, actually. Thank you. Um... If, yeah, if I see something or I'm given proof of something, I'm happy to believe it. So, you know, there's always that part of my mind that thinks, what if it could be real? So, I'm, you know, I don't just blindly disbelieve stuff. Um, so, yeah, it was this weird, inhuman, guttural kind of growly scream coming at me from behind in the dark on my way home. Completely unexpected. And um, I just kept on walking and I sort of looked back after a while and couldn't see him. And so I guess he'd gone into a house or I'd walked further than I thought or he was behind a car or something. But I, I'm, honestly, that absolutely shook me up. I had to phone, phone my girlfriend just immediately um, to just sort of explain what had happened because I, I had to make head or tail of it. And obviously looking back on it, it was probably someone either with a speech impediment or someone foreign with a speech impediment or someone who was having a, maybe a drug addict or something. But... Either way, it sounded, you know, like when you watch exorcism films um, or things like that, where someone's got possessed, the voice sounded like that, but even worse. I mean, that's why it creeped me out so much. Hearing that in real life is just unbelievable. So, yeah, I just thought I'd have to <laughs> have to let you all know that because I don't want to be the only one who doesn't sleep tonight. But, um, yeah, like I say, I don't think it was a possessed person or anything. I think it was just, like I say, someone who's having, uh, someone who's got a speech impediment or is on drugs or something like that. But either way, I mean, I cannot, cannot get that out of my head now. And I'm about to play a freaking, uh, I've just got home, I'm going to have a nice pizza and then I'm going to play um, the next part of a scary game that I'm, I'm playing for you. And it's put me right off playing anything scary until my flatmates come home. Like, I don't want to play anything. I want to be in the light with, you know, being able to see all around me. It's oh, awful. This is like an insight into my mind. Um, this is how my mind works. Now I've had that, that's probably going to keep me up tonight. Probably. Now, we'll see. We'll see. I'll have to watch a lot of American Dad and drink some rum first and then I might be able to sleep fine. But um, anyway, that's what 
happen. So I'll upload this for you. Um, uh, this might come out tomorrow morning. I don't know if I've got time to upload it tonight, so I might upload it tomorrow morning. But either way, it happened on the 23rd of January. So if I go missing, you know what's happened. Anyway, um, good to see you, good to speak back on this channel again. I promise I will do some of the things because some of you have had some really good suggestions on what I should talk about in these logs. Keep those suggestions coming in on, on comments on these videos and I promise I will do them very soon. Um, I'll probably do my next one on Friday evening. So, because <laughs> I've got nothing better to do on a Friday evening but talk to you lot. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, um, take care. Thanks for listening. And uh, may you all be safe from creepy possessed people. Bye.